Today I'm going to try my hand at an Antarsha project. It'll be for my wife for her birthday. Uh, when, if you're seeing this, she's already got it. But what it is, it's uh, basically, since her birthday is St. Patrick's Day, it's a St. Patrick's frog. She loves frogs. She collects frogs. You've seen me do frog stuff for her before. Special thanks to Lee Nyden. He helped me with this. He, uh, I sent him two pictures of frogs that I liked and said, can you use this part of this one for the one with the top hat? I didn't like the face on on the one with the top hat. So uh, he, he threw that together for me and then converted it into a pattern that was a whole lot more complicated and convoluted than this one. I tweaked it to, to better suit what I wanted. So I took some of his lines out, but left most of them, and I really appreciate that, Lee. Thank you. So let's get to the scroll saw. First thing we're going to do is we're going to cut out the second layer, and once I get the second layer cut out, or maybe it's just a template, I will go around it with a washer to do my backer, and then I'll cut the backer out, and then we'll go from there. So check this out. Okay, I've got a straight blade in here. I don't remember which one. I'm basically just going to cut the perimeter out. I'm not going to be real, real careful. I'm going to stay outside the line because I'm going to sand everything up nice and neat afterwards. I like doing that if I can. If I decide not to use this as layer two, it's no big deal. This is just some cheap 8 inch plywood. That was painful. I only screwed up in a couple of places, but I don't think it's going to hurt much. All right, let me get this sanded up. I'm my own worst enemy when it comes to straight blades. I can't slow down, I, and I need to slow down and let the blade do its thing. I just don't know how to do that. Okay, back to scrolling. This is the brim of his hat, and this is his coat. These are the same thickness, I think. At least they are in my mind. The top of his hat's gonna be the same wood, but it's gonna be thinner. That'll work, the rest of that'll clean up on the 
sander and by hand sanding. But just look how smooth that cut is. See how shiny that is? You don't get that off the fire. I just can't control this blade as much as I'd like to. I have to do interior cuts on this. I will use a spiral for that. I'm going in with a, a number three new spiral flying Dutchman. Okay, now we'll sand these up and do some more. Okay, that's the top of the hat. Now I'll get it sanded up and here we go again. We'll go sand this one up. Okay, this is going to be for the hat band and the and the buckle of the hat. Plans call for the buckle to be three pieces. I'm not sure I want to do it that way. And this is Arizona Ash. Now the way I'm going to do the buckle. I'm going to cut these black pieces off. I will probably put something under this and raise it up. That's the way. Now, more sanding. I'll be back. Doing the face. You know, I've worked with a lot of poplar, but this poplar, I think because of how old it is, it's quite a bit harder. Another one. This one's kind of small. I found some blood wood for the eyes, but man, this is hard stuff. It's going to be slow going. One. Well, that's the hard part. Huh? Okay. Let's see what we can do. That should be all right. Okay, go stand it up. Now I got to cut the little white parts out of the eyes.
One down, one to go. It's gonna take me a while to sand this up. Green pattern in that. That's gonna be awesome. See, just look at that. Isn't that cool? And to cut another. Okay, last cut for the day, and there's several cuts in this, but that's all. Yeah, it's a little more manageable. Okay, now the tedious part. Alright, now I can fix it. Okay, here it is. I, I didn't film me cutting the last few pieces, uh, but I got that done. And after I finished, I took my Dremel tool with a small sander and I went around all the edges and I sculpted where it needed sculpting, I think. And I thinned this down because his hat goes kind of behind his head. So now it's time to glue it all together. And believe it or not, I cut it from this pattern. And surprisingly enough, it's about an eighth of an inch longer on the bottom and an eighth of an inch longer on the top. So in here it fits perfect, but things kind of spread out. And that's probably because I sanded to the line in many cases and not just above it. But it's okay. It still came out looking pretty good, I think. So what I'm going to do now, I've got it on this piece of wax paper sitting on this Corian that I know is flat, and I'm going to I'm going to start gluing this together. And for gluing it together, I'm going to use medium thick Starbond black. You can get your own Starbond by clicking the link in the description below. You'll save 15% on your order. No code to fill. Just click that link, you'll save 15%. I really like this stuff. And I'm gonna try, I'm doing it on this wax paper in hopes that it, uh, it will peel up. If it doesn't peel up, it's not that big a deal. I can sand it off the back easily enough. And I'm using the black star bond because it will hide any small gaps that I have and make it less visible when I glue it to the backer. So I'm going to be at this a while and once I get more of it glued together I'll show you where I'm at. What I'm going to do, this will be one of the last things glued on and the eyes will be one of the last things glued in because I want this all pretty much flat so that I can sand the back off and get all of this off without it wobbling around and then I'll glue the eyes in and the bow tie on. Except for the black that I dyed, every, every piece is natural color. I think it came out really nice. Okay, I've basically got all of this glued together I need to sand the back somewhat flat and I will do that after I let this sit up to cure a while. I made sure I filled all the cracks. I think it's going to look pretty good. I've glued the eyes together. I'm leaving them there to sit. They stand up higher than anything else so I will wait until this cures for a few hours and I'll sand the back up good. I'll sand the backs of these up good. Once that's done I'll glue the eyes in and I will put the bow tie on. I'll round the edges over, of course, and I may stain it, I may not. I have not decided yet, but I will glue this on when it's all ready to go. So this will give you an idea of what it would look like stained, and I don't think I like it. I think I'm going to leave it natural. I think I like that better. Oh, everything is ready. 
So I'm going to glue this on with wood glue and I'll put some weights on this to glue it to hold it down. I don't want it to squeeze out and I don't want it blowing in the lines where I've got fill, I mean where I've scrolled. When my timer goes off for my branding iron, this will be ready to take out of the clamps, clamps, <laughs> and I'll come back in. Ah, perfect, perfect, the moon Now I will glue the eyes in. I'm going to glue this on using thick star bond. Almost got it glued out of place, but I didn't. And there, Mr. Bullfroggy is done, except for the final finish. I'm going to let the glue cure a little bit longer, and then I will spray it with clear lacquer. I'll come back when I'm ready for that. Okay, that's three coats. I think that's going to be enough. Looks pretty good. I like it, so it'll be ready tomorrow. What do you think? I think it's really cute. So here it is. I really think she's going to like it. I hope she does. My first ever attempt at Intarsia and and it's it was it was actually quite fun. Didn't take as long as I thought it was going to take. I like it. Got my logo burned in the back. I wrote a little inscription on it. I could have burned it in, but I didn't figure I needed to. All of this wood is natural color, as you saw, except the only thing I dyed was I dyed the eyes and that hat band black because I didn't have any ebony. But the blood wood, I think, came out beautiful. It's perfect. This this sepo or African mahogany for the bow tie, I think, is a, a good touch as well. This, I finally figured out what this piece was. I, I I knew it was maple, but it turns out this is big leaf maple, and you can see the fleck in it. It's just really pretty. That this wood, I don't know what it is. Every bit of the wood except for the backer, the bloodwood, and the sepo came out of that old piano. So many different colors of green poplar. I just I I was able to to use it. Slightly disappointed in. I, the same piece I used for the face, I used for all four feet. But I guess I didn't get quite enough of the old finish off of the face and the and the feet because once I paired, once I carved these bottom feet down, it was quite a bit lighter green than the front feet and the face. But all in all, I still like it. It's still a different color green than than the rest. But I, I'm, I'm actually quite happy with how this turned out.